Hello and welcome back to the course. In this video, I'm going to take a look at the Australian dollar and correlations. Now, as I go into correlations, this is not 100%. You can't just say this happens, so therefore that happens. This is a secondary indicator for a trade, maybe even tertiary. And what I mean by that is I won't go in and take a trade just because the um, correlated market is doing something. But if I get a trading situation where maybe I get a trend line, a hammer, um, or maybe an impulsive candle, or you know, even a stochastic crossover, something like that, and one of the underlying fundamentals is also moving in the same direction, then you have yet another reason to take your position. Because remember, the thing about trading is you want to stack the odds in your favor, but you can never make them 100%. So in front of you, I have an area chart of the Australian dollar, US dollar. Um, it's essentially a line chart that just fills in the bottom. It just kind of gives you a visualization, a little easier visualization of what's going on. Uh, really not useful for trading in and of itself, but you can see that, you know, we've drifted. This is the weekly time frame of the Australian dollar, U.S. dollar pair. The Aussie has been pummeled, but has been kind of grinding its way a little higher as of late. So with the Australian dollar, there are a couple different things that move it, one of which is Asian uh, economic growth, and that's because Australia supplies uh, iron, copper, steel, those types of things to specifically China, but Indonesia and, and other countries in Asia as well can uh, drive out demand for Aussie products. The uh, Chinese yuan is not traded freely on the marketplace, so a lot of times people will use the Aussie as a proxy currency. That for me is a bit of a re uh, reach, but there is one particular commodity um, well, there's two really. There's copper and then there's gold, but more specifically gold that traders tend to use the Aussie as a proxy for. And that is because Australia is the largest exporter of gold in the world. And think about it. If you're buying large amounts of gold from an Australian miner, he's going to want Australian dollars. So therefore, the Australian dollar will appreciate as Chinese and, and American consumers, Canadian consumers, whoever comes in, starts buying Aussie dollars, it drives the value up. Because remember, in Forex, we're not just trading fundamentals, but we're also trading the way that cross-border contracts are moved which by extension is a form of fundamentals. But uh, if there is demand for the Aussie dollar because of gold, then it, it really doesn't matter uh, anything else if it you know, gets kind of really ratcheted up. So I'm going to uh, click the compare button here. I'm at tradingview.com, excellent site for this type of thing. So I'm gonna type in the spot gold, um, contract and this is uh, the CFD but this will give you an idea here and it's the red line and you can see that in general it doesn't move in lockstep but it certainly moves in a very similar process you can see going back to 2012 we have lost 21 percent in both the Aussie dollar and the gold markets so clearly there is a correlation here um, it doesn't mean that you can trade it tick for tick, but if you get a signal, and let's just say you get a signal um, right here, it's a perfect example, on your Aussie dollar chart, and you see gold starts to roll over, you know, that's reason enough to think, okay, that's yet another reason, just as you could have had something there and there. You know, the, they both could have formed hammers, for example, or there where we rallied. You know, you can see peaks. And the two do move in a similar general pattern. Um, it certainly can help and enhance your trading to at least understand what may be moving the currency. So with, with the Australian dollar, gold's very important. It's very rare. It's not impossible, but it's rare that you'll see one rallying and the other falling. Typically, that's a, 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 an actual event-specific driven thing. But overall, over the longer term, you can see the correlation holds pretty nicely.